Greetings, Benjamin J. the Victrola Guy, with another in the series on the tinfoil phonograph. Going to do a quick experiment. Uh, this is what, <clears throat> what you call a quick and dirty experiment. I took two pieces of that copper tape and overlapped them on the mandrel. It's full of wrinkles, but I just want to see what it's going to sound like to be able to use all two inches of the mandrel to make a recording on copper. So it's going to be interesting to see what this does. Um, I've only recorded on copper once, so this will be quite interesting, whether it's going to work or not, and what kind of quality I'm going to get with all these wrinkles, and the overlap, I have no idea. But it's just two pieces of uh, that one inch copper tape, just laid side by side, with a big overlap in the center. So no idea what this is going to sound like, let's uh, do a quick recording on copper foil and see how this goes. Hello, hello, hello! Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Ha, ha, ha! Well, I'm not really expecting much from this. The overlap is just absolutely terrible. And I'm sure it's going to make a terrible recording. Basically, I just want to see what a recording on copper sounds like now that I've got the stylus adjusted for the heavy-duty aluminum foil. No idea. No idea at all. So, a second recording on copper. Two pieces of one-inch copper tape overlapped on the mandrel. Well, it recorded, but again, it's not as loud as aluminum foil. It would probably be a different story if I had a piece of copper foil that was wide enough to fit the mandrel. Uh, that way I could just put a piece on here and adjust the machine to use it and see if it made any great amount of difference. But I've uh, also located a lot of other foils that I'm going to be trying. The problem with them, of course, is they're expensive because there's very little call for lead foil, brass foil, bronze foil. So uh, it's expensive to do these experiments. Uh, right now I'm recording on heavy duty aluminum foil, which is, you know, three bucks a roll for, what is it, six, 66 feet, I think, in a roll, 12 inches wide. Whereas some of these copper and uh, alloy foils are $128 for basically the same length. So it's quite expensive. I can see no practical advantage to it, uh, other than the fact that, as far as I know, no one's recorded on copper. I've read nothing about anyone recording on copper foil, or brass foil, or bronze foil, or lead foil. It seems like lead foil might be uh, the best thing to record on, as far as taking grooves. No idea how easy or difficult it would be to handle lead foil. I've never seen it before. So, in any case, I just want to do a quick experiment with two pieces of copper foil side by side with an overlap. Uh, not stellar results, but you can record on copper. Uh, as I said, if I could find a two inch strip of this, uh, I could do some real experimenting. This is very, very difficult to do. Uh, just to get it on there straight is difficult, let alone overlapping two pieces. But it did record. So uh, again, just a quick experiment recording on copper foil rather than tin or aluminum. So uh, I've just begun the experiments. So uh, of course the uh, thing to do first is get it working well with uh, aluminum foil, and this new extra heavy duty aluminum foil I'm using works fairly well. So I, I may stick with that. Uh, it just depends on how easy it is to find and how consistent it is batch to batch, manufacturer to manufacturer. I tried some uh, Reynolds aluminum foil, uh, straight aluminum foil, heavy duty, 
and it's so noisy you can't use it. And yet uh, a plain wrap heavy duty aluminum foil is quite, uh, I can't call it noise free, but the difference is 100%. And then this extra, extra heavy duty aluminum foil uh, is plain wrap and it's actually recording quite well. But again, just a quick experiment on copper. Two pieces laid side by side to cover the mandrel. So just a quick experiment. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, thevictrolaguy at gmail.com. And as always, thanks for watching.